In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four leaf option infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created a very beautiful color of four options. And you can add the option number here. You can add your detailed text along with the title and then you can add an icon here. So you can add the option number two, option number three and option number four. And similarly, I made another slide without the background. You can see here it is more bigger and one more with some uh, shadow effect. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes and from rectangle select the last one which is the rectangle diagonal corners rounded. Just make this much size you can see here and then you can see two orange points here i'm going to select this orange point and drag it inside so you can see here it looks something like this shape if you want you can increase or decrease so let me just keep this here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some light color then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and I'm going to duplicate once again. So this one, I'm just going to cut the lower part or I'm going to just keep the lower part and then I'm going to remove the upper part. For that, let me just go to insert shapes and select a oval shape, draw the oval shape, right mouse click, go to format shape, fill, increase the transparency so we know that how much area we are covering. I'm just going to bend this you can see here and increase the size so you can see here this area only I'm going to keep and whatever is under the this circle I'm going to remove it so I'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to format merge shape and you can just say subtract so you end up getting this shape now I'm going to select this, bring it here or let it be here. I'm going to give some gradient color. Select the gradient color. I'm going to keep only two stops. The first stop, I'm going to select some nice colors. Maybe I'll just select this color and then I'm going to select the second stop and I'm going to select maybe this color you can see here. And you can change the direction I want something like this and I'm going to select this I'm going to keep it on top of this shape the gradient one then again give the gradient for this and just change the direction like this you can see here or you can just come and just change the way you want how you want you can see here different ways you can do it so let it be like this you can give more somewhat increase the position here so you can see here you got this particular 3d shape and i want to give one line in between so i'm just going to select this or if you want you can just change this color also for example i want this more lighter color i can just go and make it more lighter color like this also you can make it so I want one line, press Ctrl D to duplicate and solid line I'm going to select maybe a yellow here and put the yellow, let me just zoom in. Bring this to front, you can see here and first put it here something like this and I'm going to put it the line, this one. So you can see here I have got this shape. Now select this object you can see here and press Ctrl G to group it so it becomes one object and bring it here. You can see here I'm just going to paste it on top of the gray one and I want to make a duplicate of this press Ctrl D to duplicate it again reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and I'm going to put it here something like this. So you can see here one size, uh, sorry, one side of the design is ready. I'm just going to select and press Ctrl G to group it. Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to put this side, go to format, rotate, and I'm just 
saying you can see here different ways we can uh, do the flip horizontal you can see here this is my this one and then I'm just selecting both of this press ctrl D bring it down and again rotate it something like this and make sure that you have given the equal spacing here let me just remove the guides and now it's time to just change the color so i'm just going to select this select the first top go to more colors maybe i need some purple dark purple you can see here more colors and i'm going to use some maybe pink again the same i can just select here the dark and the pink something like this you can see it looks more beautiful and then if you want you can just change this line and here also you can do the same thing again select this and this and for this also i'm going to select the lighter one and the darker one so you can see here now likewise we just change the colors for the remaining so you can see here i've added some nice colors now if you want you can just change the background you can just go to any nice color you want to choose you can just choose it you can see here whichever color and this color i'm just going to make it white you can just go to select this and just make it white you can see here i'm just going to press function key f4 to repeat and then it's time to add the options for that go to insert text box and i'm just saying 0 1 i'm going to choose the font oswald or whichever font you like increase the size make it a white and put this here this is one press ctrl d this is two ctrl d then make this as third one and this is the fourth one you can see here and then you can add the detailed text here along with the title add your detail text here again i'm going to make it white font reduce the size so add the text and just put it here press ctrl d you can see here any text you can just type it and put it here and if you need you can add some icons also here but so uh, if you don't want if you don't have icons you can just uh, leave it empty also and if you want you can give some simple animation to it that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye